everyone, KK here. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to pop in with a quick video and go ahead and post a video response to a challenge that was posted by Miss Chicas One. Um, this is her name right here. And the deadline for it was the 9th of January. So I have my little checklist here. So before I show you my layout, I wanted to show you that I got this sketch from um, Shamil Lane's blog. Um, you can find it at www.shamil.com. So this is the sketch that she posted. Um, she used this gray area here at the top was actually a really large photo and I replaced that with pattern paper and she used two small photos here but I just used one 4 by 6 and as you can see the embellishment was quite simple and I maintain that aspect of the sketch and also the title kind of laying off right there or doubling over kind of. So that was the sketch and again it's at shamil.com. So here's my layout. Um, so I'll just go through the checklist really quick of the things that were needed to enter the challenge. First of all you needed to be a subscriber to her challenge which I have done. Um, and then you could do any size layout, Project Life, or a um, shadow box, anything you wanted. You obviously needed to use photos, which I've included here, and journaling. Um, she made a point to emphasize the fact that journaling for her was very important because it does tell our stories. And if we don't include the journaling, it's nothing more than a photo album, and that's what we've always, you know, had before. So scrapbooking is really... Um, pictures with stories, so journaling is very important. It needed to be about your goals for 2013, and so my title was This Year Go West. Um, this title and this picture here comes from um, the fact that I have some family who lives in Lubbock and obviously West Texas, and sometimes I really don't take the time to go see them or to visit them or you know, when I'm off and I have time, I don't make time to go visit. And last year my grandfather passed away and he lived in Lubbock and so I spent a great amount of time visiting. So this year I'd like to take advantage of the time that I do have off and the time that I have that I could travel to see them instead of always trying to go on vacation somewhere or do something else. You know, I really want to take time to go west and visit my family and spend some time with them. So, you needed to use something old, and I used, from my stash, I used this um, pattern paper that was from My Mind's Eye, the Lime Twist Collection. This um, green cardstock that I punched the um, border out of actually came from my scraps, and um, this purple photo mat also came from my scraps. So, those things are a bit old, as well as these authentic letters right here. Um, you needed to use something new, something that the first time I've used it is this washi tape by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm really not um, sure that I'm even doing this right because I've probably gone overboard with the washi, but I'm new to it, so, you know, I wanted to use it. And something else new is this journaling card here that I got from Michaels. It came in a pack. It was a recollections, like, journaling card stack or something, and so that's new as well. As far as the new technique, um, the washi is new to me. I've never really had washi tape or proper washi tape. I've always had like that Martha Stewart paper tape or whatever. But also the um, stamping and embossing. I can't. I don't think you can tell that these are embossed, but they are. And so that's new to me. That's not something that I would typically do. And actually, stamping is not something I typically do on a layout. Um, so I stamp the purple hearts and I stamp this. And you needed to post a video response, which. I'm currently filming and also you needed to use purple and purple is something different for me if you if I look throughout my scrapbooks purple really isn't a color you see very often and the times that I have used it I've always felt that the layouts have come out just not quite true to my style or who I am but this one actually I incorporated purple very purposely and I actually feel like this is really something that you know I'm happy with and I'm pleased with so the purple is in the photo mat here these 
alphas are purple as well as the stamping that I did for the heart. I kind of tried to mimic this with the arrow and the heart and the yellow um, over here because I didn't have any embellishments really to go along with this so I kind of had to make my own. And um, again I wanted to use that yellow washi tape. So anyhow, this is my layout and I hope you guys liked it. Um, Pop over to Miss Chica's one and try to join the challenge if you have a chance. It's um, due tomorrow, I think, is the ninth. So anyway, if you have a chance, pop over there. And um, thank you for watching, and I will be back with another video soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.